What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike. And this high school football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, now open for indoor dining. Visit ribcompany.com today. And this video brought to you as our game of the week as part of our partnership with the Long Beach Post. If you want some March Madness, we got you covered with Wilson hosting Compton in their first spring football game. Wilson obviously coming off one of their best seasons in school history, but graduated a bunch of seniors. So Coach Mark Ziegenhagen is building his program back up. Compton and head coach Calvin Bryant have not had much time to practice and prepare for this one, but you're kind of crazy if you count out Cali B, JJ. Got to show you a little pomp and circumstance we have because it's so nice to see parents watching their kids play football again. So here we go, and as Samuel L. Jackson once said, Hold on to your butts. Compton obviously known for their double wing rushing attack, but on the first play of the game, it's play action. Allen Monroe to Tyler Huffman. Wham, bam, what the heck just happened? It's a 42-yard touchdown and an early lead. Like a college basketball team with seven footers just draining three-pointers. I was not prepared for that, to be completely honest with you. Wilson quarterback Xander McLaren played in a Bruins baseball game earlier today, left early to get ready for his first varsity start at quarterback, handed off quite a bit tonight, but he was ready when they needed it. McLaurin finds Dallas Cooper on fourth down to pick up the first down. That's baseball player to basketball player Dallas Cooper. Love to see that. After a few penalties, McLaurin going to thread the needle, find Joshua Scott over the middle. Turf Monster got him, but it were inside the five-yard line. And a few plays later, McLaurin on the swing pass to Tyree Robinson. And the senior is going to go all the way in for six untouched. He was a wide receiver last year, but they need some experience in that backfield. And they moved him there. And he looks pretty good. Wilson is up 7-6 after the first quarter. This is a good shot at how hard it is to follow the ball when Compton is running that double wing offense. Lewis Williams coming out of nowhere is going to pick up that first down. A lot of misdirection, and that's tough to prepare for in a short season. Then on the end of round action, it's Deion Johnson, and four plays later, it's Johnson and Johnson again around the outside, round the outside, in for the score. You can see the emotion from Deion. These kids just so thrilled to be out here, and you could really feel the energy on the sideline. Yeah, I mean, we got football in March. Why not? Wilson needs an answer, and they go to a familiar face. It's Nick Primetime Timco, Nicky Tiki Timco, on the screen pass for first down, then two players later, McLaren looking for him again. Yeah, that's a great pass right there on the goal line as he outran two defenders, 14-12. So nice for a young quarterback to have some seasoned vets to throw to. And then that rushing attack for Compton with a small margin of error. One play like that can really put them on their heels. They give the ball right back to Wilson. But Wilson going to give the ball right back to Huffman. Kid caught the touchdown early, says the Nano, my Damie, to that touchdown throw. Interception returned back. He's a special kid, and this was about two minutes left in the half. So a real game-changing swing right here because of the first play of the ensuing drive. Compton taking off the top again? This is madness. It's Monroe to Eric Patrice Barrios, and he's going to scamper into the Wilson red zone for 53 yards on the play. I am uh, Mark down as a fan of Eric Compton, but they're looking for their one shining moment before halftime. The ball is tipped, JJ. <laughs> Got to get on the are. floor, man. <laughs> Got to get on the floor. How Wilson doesn't come up with that, I'll never know. Williams actually swoops in for the recovery and keeps the drive alive. And on the very next play, it's Deion Johnson again into the end zone. This isn't even an upset alert, you know? This is just a good game now. Compton up. 2014 at halftime, giving their fans something to cheer about. And you know, it's not just football parents out here celebrating the return to campus. These games involve so many students and it's great to see them all back out here. Yeah, it really does our hearts a lot of good. Uh, we'll go to the second half, Wilson getting the ball straight to John L. Gray, the sophomore had a coming out party, running the field with the passion of Old Vic, 14 carries, 115 yards. And this 17-yard touchdown scamper that's going to put Wilson back up 21-20. to 20. That's about the time the defense has decided to show up. And it's expected, right? You got veteran coaching staffs. Both made good halftime adjustments. And it showed as these teams traded punts. Compton's Bryson Evans is an absolute baller. Calling number 22 on the tackle a lot tonight. And you know who else is a baller? It's Huffman, man. Quattro is a no-fly zone in the secondary. His second interception of the game gets Compton back into Wilson territory at the beginning of the fourth. But Wilson defense able to seal the edges in the second half. That was key to keeping Compton hemmed in. Only thing that's going to change this game is another turnover, and there it be. This fumble and scrum ends with Compton getting the ball at the Wilson 26-yard line with just five minutes to play. 
obviously this is the kind of thing that swings football games. On the first play of that drive, it's going to be Johnson because you do know that. They're not going to stop him with a head of steam. Johnson's third touchdown of the night put Compton up 26-21. You can see so much emotion, man. Usually we don't just show these right outs, but with those hugs, you got to show them. So much excitement from everyone that probably includes JJ on the sideline, to be honest. It's just great to see games like this happening. Wilson needs a game-winning drive, and they get it going with LJ. Finishes this run for a first down and some much-needed momentum on that Wilson sideline after the turnover. A few plays later, fourth and four. It's prime time, so you go to Timco. Duh. He keeps his knee off the ground, goes for the first down. Next snap, under two minutes to play. McLaurin reads the secondary perfectly, and it's better late than never. Michael Bruner hauling it in for the score, his first catch of the night. This kid had over a 1,000 yards receiving last year, so all eyes were on him. But as he said after the game, he knew it would come eventually. The burner Bruner with the big-time catch. You talk some big size of relief on that Wilson sideline, JJ. They did a lot of winning last year, and they needed to do it tonight. Compton still trying to go all Oral Roberts on the road, but that desperation heave is going to end up with Mr. Cooper. Dallas Cooper getting the game-sealing interception, and Wilson comes back multiple times to win this one. 27 26 i mean just a great night great coaches strong programs we had so many good individual efforts and the positivity man the positivity everywhere the love shown honestly that's the way it should always be yeah what a special night for everyone involved thanks for letting us be a part of it thanks to all of our sponsors including ocean law center and uh, jj thanks for letting me be on the highlight with you buddy what an awesome night of football that was let's do it again if you want more long beach football coverage you stay right here the 562.org